Uh, my name's Jim McKelvey, and I have no idea what I do for a living. I am a parallel entrepreneur. I do things in parallel. <laughs> I have six companies right now, um, ranging from a high-tech company to a glassblowing operation, and I really don't know where I fit on the spectrum of jobs. One day I was in my glass studio trying to sell a piece of glass when I couldn't finish the sale because I couldn't take an American Express card. And I looked down at my iPhone and said, you know, this device should have been able to fix that problem. And the fact that it didn't really bothered me. So what we ought to do is build a payment system so that no other small businessman ever has to go through this problem. And that's how Square was born. Square has reached out to a group of merchants that formerly weren't really in the ecosystem. They were marginalized. They, they just weren't invited to the party. And it gave us the first set of tools for a small business to get paid easily and to connect with their customers and to do the things that big companies just take for granted. Teamwork is critical for everything that I've ever done that's been successful. The students in the engineering school all work together, so I thought the engineering school would be a more collaborative place to work, and I was drawn to it. One of the great skills I learned as an engineer here at Washington U was how to be part of that team. When you're young, you really don't know what's gonna be important. So I think engineering is the best education to prepare you for the future. Study is rigorous, but at the end you develop not only the specific technical skills, but you develop this appreciation for problem solving and you learn to work in teams. And these days you don't do anything without a team. So if you know how to work as a team member, as a graduate of an engineering school, you're so far ahead of everybody else. I'm motivated by a problem, something I think is wrong that I believe uh, needs to be fixed and what I say is, you know, why not me? Why shouldn't I be part of that solution? And that's what gets me out of bed in the morning.